to book a phone consultation and to get fly glasses, go to swagboy360.com. Uh. What's good? What's good? This your host, Swagboy from swagboy360.com. Uh. Today's episode If you black, do not go to East LA. Story time. So about 10 years ago, right, I'm on the phone chopping up with my cousin, man. He said, man, yo, cuz, you got to get up out of North, man. You got to come out here to Cali, man. You're going to love it out here. So I kept telling him, yeah, 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 one day I'm going to come through. I'm going to come through. So finally one summer, shit, I decided to take him up on his offer. I called him up. I'm like, yo, cuz, what's good? Yeah, I, I I think I need to take a vacation out to Cali, man. He, he was excited. He said, yo, cuz, you're going to love it out here, man. The weather, the women, the food, you're going to love it out here. I'm like, all right, cool. So I booked me a flight. You know what I mean? Went online, got the flight. Shit, I was ready to roll. Next week came, left Newark Airport. Got to John Wayne Airport. There was my cousin. Picked me up. Happy to see me. He greeted me. He said, yeah, yeah, what up, cuz? Like, what up, cuz? Now, it was a red eye. So, I, I, I arrived in California about, I say about 5 o'clock in the morning. Nigga, tired and shit, right? So, we get in the car. We driving. Now, it's still dark, but the scenery is still fucking beautiful. Like, like it's palm trees, and and then behind it is mountains and shit. I mean, the scenery is just gorgeous. So, we finally got to his crib. Now, he lives in Redondo Beach, California. We pulled up. Nice little spot he got. I'm like, damn, cuz, you living like this? He said, yeah, man. You know what I mean? I'm living good out here. He an IT. He do IT tech work and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. We get in the house. Got a cool pad. So, I'm like, all right, cool. We about to bring some bitches up in this motherfucker later on, right? But nigga was tired. So, my cousin's like, yo, cuz, go ahead, chill out, relax, man. I'm about to go to work. And my cousin told me. He was like, because I get off like around four or five. So I'ma leave the keys to my other car, which was which was a 745 BMW, right? He said, cuz I'ma leave the keys right here on the kitchen table. So if you want to drive around, you know what I mean, get a feel of the neighborhood, you could do that. And then when I get off of work, we gonna chill, you know what I mean? Take a ride around town, have a good time. I'm like, alright, cool, bet. So I take a nap for like about one or two hours, whatever. I get up. It's like I wanted to sleep, but my adrenaline wouldn't let me sleep. You know what I mean? Because you know that feeling that you get when you tired, but your adrenaline saying, nah, nigga, you got to wake up, man. We here now. That's what my adrenaline was saying. So then I get up. I walk out the house. I said, yo, I'm about to take a stroll around this neighborhood. Yo, fucking California is fucking gorgeous, yo. I'm walking around. I'm seeing these beautiful fucking palm trees. Like, I'm obsessed with palm trees. So, like, the scenery for me is, like, so surreal. I'm like, wow. I want to see more and more of this. It, it was like... It was like it was a drug. And I want to get high more and more. You know what I'm saying? So, as I'm walking around... I see a black dude walking, so I'm like, oh, all right, cool, because you know, you know, a nigga, he in a new town, he see another nigga, he get a little comfortable, you know what I mean, ain't no, like, an all-white neighborhood and shit, I'm like, all right, cool, so I walk up to the black dude, I'm saying, yo, what's going on, fam, how you, he said, right, what's good, man, how you doing, I'm like, I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm all right, I said, yo, let me ask you a question, yo, you know where I could find some sexy-ass Spanish bitches, yo, he said, damn, he's, he he. Ref at first, he referred me to some club that that will open, but it only open at nighttime. But I'm like, nah, I want some Spanish bitches right now. Like, where the Spanish mommies at? He said, well, it's this park you could go to. It's on such and such place. 
I'm like, word? I'm like, yo, you got the address? He said, nah, but I can give you the cross street. You know what I mean? Like, oh, cool. That's all I need, like the cross street. And I asked him. I'm like, yo, fam, you sure it's going to be some Spanish bitches out here? He looked at me with like a, you can see the confidence in his eyes. And he said, my nigga, nothing but Spanish bitches. Son, that was all I needed right there. I dapped him up. I said, yo, I'm out. And I was on my way. I walked back to my cousin's house with like a... Like, like like a walk of confidence Like wow yo I'm about to get in a nice car And I'm about to drive In California to a spot With nothing but Hispanic bitches It's on nigga So boom I go in the house Take a shower I put on my fly ass outfit Yo I'm looking good I'm coordinating like a motherfucker son I'm like yo Yo these Cali bitches about to get some of this Jersey swag up in this motherfucker Alright cool so I'm dressed right I walk about the house Get in my cousin's 745 BMW So in the GPS right I put in the cross street that the homie had gave me So boom I was on my way I'm driving right Now fellas listen while I'm driving, I discovered this highway that I think they call the, the PCH, the Pacific Coastal Highway, right? My nigga, this shit is gorgeous, yo. Like, I, I'm from Newark, New Jersey, right? So, when you go right into Manhattan, it's like a surge of energy you already get, like, a, automatically. You get, like, a surge of energy automatically. So, boom, when you driving, you know what I mean, in Jersey, then you go through that tunnel that puts you right in Manhattan. As soon as you get out that tunnel, boom, it's like a surge of energy just hits you, right? And you don't even got to be from Jersey. You, you can get that surge of energy coming from the Bronx to Manhattan, coming from Brooklyn to Manhattan, Queens to Manhattan. It's just like Manhattan got this, this vibe that gives you some like a surge of energy, like it wakes you up, right? So that was the same type of energy that I got as I was driving on Pacific Coastal Highway. My nigga, the fucking scenery was so fucking beautiful. It was hard to keep my eyes on the motherfucking road. And so boom, I'm driving, right? I see sexy ass bitches everywhere. I see the his, I see a couple of Hispanic bitches, white bitches, Asian bitches, uh uh black bitches. I'm like, damn, it's on. So boom. I had to get some water and some of munch on while I'm driving. So I, I get out the car, I go to the store on about on, on, on Pacific Coastal Highway. So as I'm getting um my shit and I'm leaving out the store after I bought my, um, bought my stuff, right? I, I say hi to this girl, these girls walking by. So I'm like, what's up, ladies? What's good? They're like, hello, hey, all bubbly and shit. I'm like, oh, my nigga, these bitches, these bitches look good and they bubbly too, son. I'm like, it's on. So I'm thinking it's a win-win situation. So I'm like, look, if the spot that I go to, if the bitches ain't give me no cooperation, I'm good back home with my cousin getting these bitches. You know what I mean? Because these bitches was bubbly as hell. So I'm like, yo, it's on and popping today, son. So boom, I get back in my car on my way to the destination, right? I get on the highway now, like the regular highway, right? So as I'm driving, you know, I got I got the music bumping, right? I'm feeling myself. Nigga can't tell me shit right now. So as I'm driving, some 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 black niggas pulled up in the car, like like right alongside. You know what I mean? On the highway, because it was a little traffic, whatever. So, niggas see me grooving to the music. So, the nigga yelled out his car. He said, oh, what up, fool? I like your hat. I see you ripping my neighborhood. That's what's up. So, remind you, I got on a Chicago Bear hat, because I'm a Chicago Bear fan. So, he was like, yeah, fool. I see you ripping my neighborhood. I like your hat, yo. I'm like, oh, word? Oh, oh, wait, hold up. Y'all niggas from Chicago? Tell me why these niggas just bust out laughing, shook their head, and drove off. Now, look. I know a lot of y'all won't understand why they did that. I didn't at the time either. But as the story goes along, I'm going to break this shit down, right? So, anyway, them niggas was going about their business. So, I'm driving, right? 
Now I'm getting close to my destination. I'm approaching the exit off the highway, right? Now, as I get to the light, I pull up, I, I, I get off the exit, I get to the light, right? Tell me why some other niggas pulled up, right? But this time, it's some Mexican niggas, right? They call them cholos and shit, right? Now, they ain't say nothing to me. Now, these niggas fall deep in the motherfucking car, son. Now, they ain't say shit to me, but they gave me this fucking look. Like, yo, what the fuck you doing over here? Like, that's the look they gave me. They ain't say shit. They just, you know what I mean? Kept going about their business. So I'm like, whatever, nigga. Niggas just hating, whatever. Fuck these niggas. I'm in Cali, nigga. What's good? I'm in Cali. So now I'm in the I'm in the, the area that the nigga gave me, right? I see taco trucks. I see all type of Hispanic Mexican shit. I'm like, damn. Shit, I'm about to get, I'm about to bag me a little Spanish bitch. We're gonna get some fucking tacos today. You know what I'm saying? So boom. I get to the motherfucking location, right? It's a motherfucking park. I pulls up and I park there. Get out the car, my nigga. Lo and behold, it was Spanish bitches galore out there. So I get out the car, you know what I'm saying, gets to walking. So I approach, I say, uh, it was about seven Spanish girls, right? Well, as I'm walking... They kind of notice me walking towards them, right? Now, as I'm walking towards them, I'm picking out the cutest Spanish girl that I want to approach, right? So, boom, I get there. I walk up to them. It's this little cute Spanish girl that's sitting down. I'm like, what's good, ladies? How y'all doing? They're like, okay, what's up? So, I saw this one Spanish girl. I'm like, what's good, ma? What's your name? She's like, I'm Gabriella. I'm like, oh, all right, that's what's up, ma. So what's good? What y'all doing out here? So I guess the kicking it with Gabriella. Then all of a sudden, Gabriella, she asked me questions. She's like, um, where you from? I could tell you not from out here. Where you from? Well, I'm from Newark, New Jersey. She said, oh, that explains it. Yeah, that explains it. And then I'm looking at her like, what, what you mean, Gabriella? And then out of nowhere, this big, burnt up Mexican fat bitch just walked up to me. And she tapped me on the shoulder. She like, come here. Let, let, let me holler at you real quick. <sighs> so in my mind, y'all, I'm going, yo. I hope this bitch ain't trying to talk to me because it is not happening. Like, nigga, I did not fly all the way out from North New Jersey to beautiful California to fuck on a fat bitch, right? So anyway, she said, no, let me holler at you. I'm like, what's up, ma? She said, you need to get the fuck from around here right now. I'm like, why? What's wrong? What's the problem? She said, you see them dudes over there? So over there, what she pointed at was a bunch of Mexican niggas. Like, y'all remember the cholos that pulled up on me before? Just mean mugging me, right? It's now a hundred of them niggas over there at the basketball court. I said, yeah, yeah, I see them niggas. What about them? She said, they don't like vatos like you in our neighborhood. If I was you, I would get the fuck from around here. Right now. And I'm looking at the shorty Gabriella. And she giving me this like concerning nod like, up and down. Like, yeah, you need, you need to listen to it. Listen to it. So I said, all right, cool. I'm out. I'm out. Now, as I'm walking back to my car. I, like, that shit put me in a bad mood now. Now I'm in a bad mood. You know what I'm saying? Because like at first I was feeling good. I was grooving. Now I'm in a bad mood. So... So now I'm just saying, fuck it. You know what? Let me just go back to Redondo Beach where my cousin lived. The bitches was much more friendlier. They were bubbly. The environment was much more safer. Let me just get up out of here. Call it quits, right? As I'm driving down a, a, a street in East L.A., my cousin called me. Now, I told you, I'm in a bad mood, but I'm still good. Now, my cousin called me, right? I'm like, yeah, hello, what up, cuz? He said, yeah, cuz, yo, I just got off of work early, man. I don't see you here, so, like, where you at? Man, I'm like, I don't know where I'm at, man. Some, I, I, I just try to holler at these bitches. They was acting funny style, but fuck them bitches, yo. I'm on my way back to your crib, though, man. I should be there soon. He said, all right, all right, but cuz, like, where, where, where you at, though? 
Uh, let me see. I'm on some street. It's on something something place in East LA. Now, this the turning point, son. Cause when I said East LA, it was like at least five seconds of silence on his end. I said I'm in East LA. He was like. Nigga, get the fuck out of here! You bring my fucking car back right now, motherfucker! What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, my cousin is now going crazy, son! He's going crazy! This is when I get nervous. Now I'm paranoid. Now I'm panicking now. I'm like, nigga, calm down. What's wrong with you? I'm good. He said, no, motherfucker. You in East L.A. I didn't tell you to take your motherfucking ass to East L.A. Come back right now. Don't stop, nigga. Roll the windows up. Lock the doors. Get your ass over here right now, motherfucker. Now I'm like, what the fuck did I just get myself into? Because, like... This nigga don't curse. This nigga's an IT dude. Like, he a nerdy ass nigga. This nigga never curse. Now I got my cousin cursing at me. Now I know I'm in a bad neighborhood. Now everything's starting to make sense. So now y'all remember those cholos that pulled up on me? You know what I mean? That was me mugging me. The cholos that was at the basketball court. Now I'm seeing these motherfuckers everywhere. I'm driving these cholos crossing the street in front of the car. Me mugging me. Like, nigga, what you doing here? I got crazy images popping up in my head of fucking Mexican gangster movies like American Me popping up in my motherfucking head. The scene in Training Day when the nigga threw the white boy in a motherfucking uh, bathtub. All that shit popping up in my head. Like, I'm tr- I'm like, yo, I gotta get the fuck from out of here, man. So anyway, I finally get safely, arrive safely to his motherfucking house, man. This nigga so nervous, this nigga is still in the front lawn, walking around, just nervous as hell. He saw me, a sigh of relief came down upon him. I got out the car, he said, oh my God, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, you okay, my car's okay, you good? I'm like, cuz, like, what's the problem though, man? He said, cuz, I know you like Spanish bitches, but don't ever go to East L.A., I'm like, damn, why not? Why can't I go to East L.A.? How come motherfuckers don't want me in East L.A.? So my cousin explained to me that due to the gang culture in L.A., it causes racial tension. Gangs like the Mexicans and the blacks, they usually collide with each other. So by me going into East L.A., I could be mistaken for a black gang member and something bad can happen. And then my cousin told me, he said, cuz, take off that Chicago Bear hat. I'm like, cuz, you know I'm you know I'm a Bears fan. Come on now. And that's when he also explained to me that the colors that I wore that day with the Chicago Bears are the same colors that the Hoover criminals wear. See, gangs, a lot of gangs, they don't just wear bandanas. A lot of times they wear certain baseball hats of other NFL and baseball teams to identify themselves. So now it all makes sense why those cats rolled up on me early on the highway and told me I'm repping their neighborhood. Because I was repping their neighborhood with that Chicago bear hat. But I was mad and thankful at the same time. I was mad because that black dude earlier that I asked, where's the Spanish girls at? I asked him that and he sent me to East LA knowing the amount of danger I would be in. I was looking for that nigga. My whole stay in Redondo Beach, I was looking for the nigga to confront him and ask him why would he send me to an environment like that, knowing it would be detrimental to me. But I never saw that nigga. But I was also thankful for that fat Mexican bitch because she could have easily sick those essays on the basketball court on me. She could have easily let me finish talking to Gabriella while she calmly walked over to the basketball court and had all them essays on me, man. I was thankful for that bitch. Moral of the story. If you a black nigga, stay the fuck out of East L.A. That was today's episode. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'ma catch you on the next go round, my nigga. Hello.